Hey there, it's Gabe with the API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync KW Command with Boomtown so that all the contacts you add to Boomtown automatically get synced into KW Command and vice versa. It's super easy to set up. Let me show you how. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to KW Command. So here we are, we're inside the console and I'm gonna click up in this top right corner, this little marketplace icon here. And that's gonna open up Marketplace in a new tab. So now we're inside the KW Marketplace and I'm just gonna search the Marketplace for Boomtown. And there it is, there's KW Command and Boomtown, the sync from API Nation. So I'm gonna click View Details and I can read more about it, see exactly what's gonna happen and look at some screenshots here. And when I'm ready, you can just go ahead and click Buy. And once you follow the prompts and purchase that KW Command and Boomtown sync, It'll now be in the My Apps area of the KW Marketplace. And there, you'll just click on it to set it up. And once you click on that tile, it's gonna take you out to API Nation to set up this sync. So you can see it's on step two of two. Step one was just connecting KW Command, which you did simply by clicking that tile. And now we're gonna connect your Boomtown account. So click the button, connect Boomtown. You're gonna go ahead and sign into the Boomtown account of your choosing. Authorize the connection. All right, and here we're on the final step. So just some configuration options here. For example, the sync's coming from KW Command. Do you wanna sync all contacts on first run? So if you check this box, you're gonna sync all contacts on first run. What that means is all the contacts currently in your KW Command are gonna get pushed into Boomtown or synced in. You can also choose if you'd like to overwrite the fields in KW Command with your Boomtown contact information, leave this box unchecked. If instead you'd like to select KW Command as the more accurate database, go ahead and check that box. And that lets it know, don't overwrite stuff in KW Command, I've checked the box, only fill in the blank fields. I'm gonna come on down here to some Boomtown options. Here I can select if I want to specify only buyer leads or seller leads to go into KW Command. I'm gonna go with buyer and seller, let's get them both in there. Again, I can sync all contacts from Boomtown this time into KW Command. I wanna do that, I wanna get it all up to date. And then I can choose if I want to overwrite information in Boomtown with KW Command information. I don't want to, so I'm gonna check the box. Finally, if you come down here, you can see we're gonna set up a sync from KW Command to Boomtown, and we're also gonna set up a sync from Boomtown to KW Command. So this is gonna be a true two-way sync. If I change a contact in one app, it'll get changed in the other. Also, you're just gonna verify you're not currently using any other platforms to sync these two apps. That way, we do not create duplicates by using too many platforms. I'm gonna hit continue. All right, so we've created two syncs. You can see two new syncs and we just need to finish and activate these. So I'm gonna look at this Boomtown to KW Command contact sync first. So I'll click Setup. And here I can just specify a little bit more. You can see we're sending over buyers and sellers. If I wanted, I can also specify a specific category. So maybe I only wanna send over new contacts, or maybe I only wanna send over hot contacts. I could do that, or I can leave it uh, blank to send over every category. There's also an option to add a filter. So maybe I want to send over people whose zip code is 92101. I could do that and then I could just send over a specific subset of people from Boomtown Indicative Command. I would just save that. But I want to send over everybody so I'm going to leave no filter. Finally, I can come down here and look exactly what is mapped. Email is going to email, first name, last name. This all looks great. Something I might want to do is add a custom field here. I'm gonna call this source. And I'm gonna enter the value as Boomtown. So I'm gonna add that. And then I can just hook this up to the source field here. Or if it's easier for you, if you have some campaign set up, you could set this source to the tags. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with the source. This all looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this sync. Looks great. Now, anytime a new contact comes into Boomtown, 
It's going to set, get synced into KW command. Let's go back to my syncs here so we can set up our second one. We're going to set that one up. All right, so just a few options here. We chose to sync all contacts on first run, so that's still selected. Here you can see as contacts are coming into Boomtown from KW command, they're going to get put into the category new and they're going to get assigned the source KW command. You can change this if you'd like, absolutely. Just choose the source you'd like, choose the category you like. But we found that most agents preferred to have new and KW command. Again, you can add a filter. Maybe, for example, in KW command, this actually works pretty well. I want a tag equals Boomtown. And then this sync will only send over contacts into Boomtown as I tag them with Boomtown just kind of a nice option to have a little bit more control over who goes in. I'm going to leave this empty though. Go back to no filter. Finally, I can come down here to the mapping again, first name, last name, email. This all looks great. Maybe I want to sync over tags into notes so that I have that information in Boomtown as well. Or actually, I think probably more helpful is going to be neighborhood name into note. That looks great. I'm going to go to the top and activate this sync. So there we go. I now have two syncs, Boomtown contacts into KW command contacts and KW command contacts to Boomtown contacts. And that's it. That's how you set up the Boomtown and KW command sync so that anytime you add or change a contact in Boomtown, it automatically gets added into KW command and vice versa. It's a great way to use these two awesome tools together seamlessly. If you have any questions or need any assistance, just go to apination.com slash KW. You can shoot us an email or give us a phone call and even set up a live support to help you set this up for you and your team. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.